happen. In light of recent school and mass shootings, there's a trend emerging nationally among law enforcement. Many officers and deputies are now carrying high-powered rifles along with their service pistol. Just yesterday, an 18-year-old fired two shots near Hamilton County High School after an altercation with his ex-girlfriend. No one was hurt, and Joshua Lander is, was arrested for reckless endangerment and carrying a weapon on campus. More than 150 Hamilton County deputies currently carry rifles to defend against active shooters. News Channel 9's Makaya Thurman joins us now with that story. Makaya. Crimes are seemingly becoming more violent, but now a recent survey by the FBI says mass shootings have been on the rise since 2000. Of course, with those kinds of numbers, cops here say they're paying attention. Initially, most of the uh, media covered uh, active shooter events were on a school setting. Uh, yes, that still happens, but you know, basically anything is fair game. Increasingly violent crimes force cops to change. Both Chattanooga police and the Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies are now armed with high-powered rifles. And it took us approximately three months to field all the rifles. The county issued patrol rifles like this Bushmaster M4 carbine. 160 deputies are locked and loaded, but Sergeant Jody Mays says training never ends. And then since then, every year on at least an annual basis, every deputy issued that weapon continues to qualify both day and night. Sergeant May says any place with a large number of victims can now be a target. Officers needed to be ready. If you survey a lot of these active shooter situations, many of these individuals are using semi-automatic weapons, high capacity magazines. So this, this puts us at least on par, I would, I would like to think, above the curve. While high-powered weapons have been issued, May says there's still work to be done. Each and every uh, event that comes down, we, we kind of look at what we have in place, our training for our deputies to respond to those situations. Of course, each rifle that you just saw there is roughly $1,000. My goodness, that's a lot. It's a lot of money, of course. There are 160 of them, but of course it can mm. go a long way. We talked about training. What specifically does it take to be able to carry a weapon of that much power? Well, it takes 24 hours of initial training, and then from that point, each year, each deputy has to pass with a 90% accuracy wow. rate. Now, that standard is so high because, of course, it could be the difference between life and death. Good information. Okay. Thanks, guys.